Woodbury County Extension will be holding a wind energy conference coming up in November at the Sioux City Convention Center. And joining me today is Sherry McGill, the director of the Woodbury County Extension. Thanks for being with us today, mm -hmm. Sherry. Glad for, to be here. Uh, first off, uh, why don't you tell a little bit about what this wind energy uh, conference is going to cover and okay. uh, what it's all about pretty much. All right, I'd be glad to. Well, the Wind Energy Conference is something that we have done before. We, we held a conference in 2005 and then we've uh, now again in 2007, we thought it would be time to kind of give people an update on what is going on for wind energy across the state of Iowa. Um, renewable energy is of ultimate importance to people, I think, at this stage uh, of our in our country and we just feel like there's stories that could be told to people that would help them to know what they could do maybe to make a difference in, in terms of wind energy. Um, so this time we're doing a conference. Um, it, it really has the Bill Heyman from the Iowa Energy Center and he's going to talk about harnessing um, Iowa's wind energy as something that would be um, there for people to learn about that overviewing what is wind energy in Iowa, how does it compare to other states. He talks about um, you know how to finance a wind energy product uh, or process and also what are the characteristics of wind energy? How do they test for that, you know, uh, the speed of, of wind? And financially that has great impact in terms of um, you know whether it's the larger utility companies or people on a you know in a single one or um, or even wind turbines that would be done as a, um, a partnership. And so this particular time we are featuring some stories about um, other places in um, really in Iowa, central Iowa kind of, in northwestern Iowa. Palo Alto County and Jefferson, Iowa has a group of folks that got together and financed, found financing for a wind energy pro pro process and it basically was maybe 10 different businesses or individuals in a community. One of them, it started off as, as really a part of their church faith uh, mission. And uh, they got together and decided this is something that they could try to do and learned about it. They met with this Bill Heyman from the Iowa Energy Center and got the information that they would need. And both of them just were able to um, open their businesses this year. And so they're actually able to sell back uh, power to the rural cooperatives of what power companies are in their area. And um, some of them actually produce enough uh, power for like um, 6,400 uh, homes in the residential neighborhoods. So. Okay. Uh, so people that should uh, really are urged to attend this are mm -hmm. like the majority leaders, uh, teachers, and right. um, well, like people involved with the school system right. and um, so that they can spread that message of uh, what is wind, en wind energy and um, how it could be built at schools. And um, right. so is that mainly? Uh, well, it, it would be um, people that are like community leaders and um, people that might be interested in developing those kind of partnerships in their area. Um, other people could be just um, people that might want to invest in wind energy. You know, should they borrow money to people that might want to do that? Um, we'll have a lady there from the USDA Rural Development Office, and she's going to talk about how to f how financing works in terms of state and federal funds. And um, and then the the other two um, groups would be the utility companies. We have Mid American Energy and NIPCO um, that are going to be there. But the the people that could come would be business leaders. It could be farmers. It could be um, really a wide variety. The last time we had people from seven states and they were from all different areas. You know, they just really were people that wanted to learn about it. Some of them wanted to check it out and see if wind energy could be something they could put on their own property. And um, they, were, they were able to learn what they needed to know from coming to the conference. Okay, and uh, so at the uh, conference, um, who are some of the uh, special uh, guests that you have lined up okay. to attend? You bet. We've got um, uh, this Bill Heyman, who is from the Iowa Energy Center, and he's going to be the, the lead uh, speaker in the morning. We have the mayor of Sioux City that'll be there in the morning with us. And then um, also Robin Templeton from Lamar's. She's going to be the one talking about financing. Uh, that's usually a big area where people are interested in to find out how could they fund it, you know, and what would be some of the things that would be possibilities, uh, 
you know, for an individual, or maybe it's, it's not as likely for an individual to be able to do that. Um, and then we have invited Roya Stanley and the governor of the state of Iowa to come during our luncheon at, at noon. Uh, we don't know yet if they will be showing up. Uh, they're supposed to be uh, letting us know here very shortly. But we, we really think that that would be great because Roya Stanley has been hired in the state of Iowa to be in charge of the Iowa Power Fund and we'll be you know, dealing with financing for renewable energy. Now, those that uh, are willing to, uh, that would like to attend this conference mm -hmm. now, is there a registration and yes, a fee? Yes, there is. There is a registration and a fee, and they could do that through going to our website. Um, they could call us and ask us to mail them a registration form, and, um, or, you know, uh, actually show up at the door. However, our preference is that they would pre-register so we have enough food for everybody. Um, but the other part that I wanted to mention too, in the afternoon the speakers are Bill Sutton and Phil Sunblade. They're the two from those um, partnerships. And then there's a fellow from Iowa Lakes Community College that's going to be coming too and he's going to talk about what it's like to go into the business of learning how to repair and fix the wind turbines. So that is really a growing uh, need out there right now with as many wind turbines as you can see across the state of Iowa um, they really need more people to be out there to repair those. Okay and you've done this uh, conference in the past yes. and um, so how has that uh, done so far? Well the first uh, time we did it we had over 200 people that came and so that was exciting for us we really didn't know how many people would come so we're hoping at least for that amount maybe 300 this time especially with some of the new um, efforts of people that have grouped together and been able to come up with a plan of how they can develop this into their communities. Now some of the topics that you're going to be talking about um, this time, at, mm -hmm. this year at the conference, are they pretty similar to what they talked about last year? Well I think that the overall uh, effort of wind energy, Bill Heyman had a different talk to be honest. Uh, it was giving an overview of all the wind energy things that are cr across the nation and he has a lot of pictures to show and, and stories to tell about that. But this time I think that the topics are examples of wind energy development, how to finance it, and the wind energy research. And so there's a lot of advances that have happened in the last two years on wind energy. And that is why a lot of the larger utility companies have actually put up more wind farms. And so some people came to it before just to find out you know, how much it would be for them if they had a wind turbine put up on their property, would they, if, if it was one of the bigger companies, how much do they pay people to put those on their property, that kind of thing. Um, and we will have people there to talk from, um, it'll be Mark Reinders from Sergeant Bluff, he's the communication specialist for the um, Mid-American, and he's going to talk about wind generation. And, um, and then Reggie Goodall, Goodale is from the Director of Regulatory Affairs, and he is um, Iowa Association of Electric Cooperatives. So he can talk about what are the trends nationwide, what are they doing in the state of Iowa, are they expanding into other states, that kind of thing. So what other uh, projects or programs are, is the uh, Woodbury County Extension currently working on beside well, this uh, wind energy uh, conference? You bet. I'd be glad to tell you. We have um, you know, an, a new archery program starting for 4-H youth. And we are, uh, you know, since we're just starting it, we're looking for people to, you know, if they have o old um, bows and arrows or things like that, if they used to be involved in archery, we'd love to have an opportunity to either borrow or um, if they'd be willing to donate those to our cause. We had about 32 people that came to our first meeting the other night. So there's definitely an interest here in Woodbury County of, of youth that want to learn about this. And some of them have already started to uh, be involved in archery. Um, so that's one area. Um, and then we also have a couple other programs started for our Hispanic um, uh, population. Nancy Nicho, who is one of our staff at, um, at Extension, she is starting a program called Our Families, Our Communities. And it's actually done in partnership with Morningside College. And uh, the goal of it is to help um, teach Spanish-speaking families better English skills, one part of it, Par parenting skills, so they do some ESL training with them, and, um, and then that's for so many weeks that goes on, and then in the last four weeks, we work with Spanish students from the college at Morningside, and then what they'll, what they'll do is actually do conversational Spanish with some of the Spanish-speaking people, and the goal of it is also to help 
um, the different cultures learn about each other so that if there's things they need to learn about how things go in uh, from other countries, things like that, that, that really would help them learn more about those cultures. And um, the other goal is uh, ultimately that the kids would learn, uh, the kids would be able to uh, benefit because the parents would learn more about ways that they could relate to their schools. So for the, the parents to learn how they can approach their teachers if they're worried or want to find out about the progress of their kids' education, that's another piece to the puzzle. So that's one of them. The, and the other program is Family Storyteller, which improves um, young parents' um, ability to teach kids how to, how to read and make reading really a fun uh, thing. So they really go through a, about 10 weeks of um, teaching them how to, they can read to their children and the importance of that in the first few years of life. Okay, uh, now uh, it, these programs, um, how can people get involved? Well, I think if they would like to volunteer or be a part of it, they could certainly call our office, um, either with the Family Storyteller. We're always looking for volunteers. We need volunteers to help out with child care, so that's a big area. Um, and, and the other part is just, um, I would say, with the archery thing, or if they would like to have their youth involved, they could c call our office and talk with our staff, and they'd be glad to give them information on it. Okay. Now back on the uh, Wind Energy Conference, yes. um, there will also be a dinner, is yes, that correct? Yes, there will be a lunch. There will be refreshments in the morning, um, a lunchtime uh, uh, where we'll have the, the meal that's part of the fee. And so I think it's uh, $35 is what the cost is for people to attend the, the whole day conference. And, so, and then in the afternoon there will be refreshments as well. Um, so it will last from about 9 to 3. And uh, we think it will be a great conference for people to learn about. Okay. Energy. Um, now, is there anything else you'd like to add on that? No, I think that would be about it. So if they'd like to learn more, they can call our office or go to our website. And um, I know that's on the, the board in the back here. So. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, now, it's the Wind Energy Conference, and that's going to be held on Thursday, November 8th at right. 9, well, from 9 to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that will be at the Sioux City Convention Center. Right. And uh, if you'd like more information on this conference coming up as far as registration and the fees, you can go ahead and contact the Woodbury County Extension at 276-2157 or visit their website at extension.iastate.edu backslash Woodbury. That's, our, that's today's show. Thanks for joining us on Extension Connection.